Hi, I'm McLean from Hello Tomorrow Films. Uh, we've been shooting weddings for like 12 or so years now, and we've learned a lot along the way, and so we thought, let's share something useful. So we're gonna show you guys 10 things we think every wedding filmmaker needs to have in their bag. Enjoy. Okay, first up is this 2008 MacBook Pro. Uh, you know, it's a speed demon. It just uh, slices through all of our 4K footage, no problem. Just kidding, it's archaic. Don't use this ever. Okay, first up is kind of an obvious one, but gaff tape. Uh, you know, scotch tape or hockey tape, not gonna do the job. You need to get some gaff tape. Uh, you never know when you need to affix uh, like a microphone and plant it somewhere, let's say on a podium or something, or you need to hide some cables or tape down some light cords. Um, this is just super handy to have. Um, it's very, you know, it's not really destructive. It's not gonna rip off uh, any surfaces and take like paint or anything with it. Um, super handy, super standard, but you need it, so get it. Next up is a backup camera. So we primarily shoot on two Canon C100s and a C200. Uh, amazing cameras, but you never know when one of them might be having issues or might fail. We've never had this happen, but it puts us at ease knowing we have this Sony a7S in our bag just in case. Sometimes if we need a fourth angle, we can plant this somewhere, um, say for like an aisle walk, if we wanna have it kind of tucked in a, a tricky small spot, tight spot. Super, super handy. Um, it's always good to have one. And then you can just be at ease. You got enough cameras and it's so small, it's not gonna take up like any room in your bag. Next up, a Leatherman or something like this, a multi-tool of some kind. It's so helpful to have this in your bag just in case some tripod legs get loose or a monopod um, adjustment thingy gets loose. Uh, trust us, this is very handy to have. It's pretty self-explanatory though. A lot of tools, it tightens things, get one backup audio recorders. So you likely at your wedding will have your, your Zoom H4n or recorder like that plugged into the DJ board. That's great, but you gotta have some backups. Mic up your bride and groom um, for speeches, mic up the podium, have lots of different sources. So we bring three of these extra Olympus recorders with us. Very, very handy, great audio quality, battery goes all day. Uh, we also recently picked up this little Olympus pen memo recorder. But what's so interesting to me was this little clip. So I don't know, I just kind of like having this, you never know, something's unmicable uh, conventionally, just quickly slip this on, I don't know, someone's pocket, could be really handy. This is to be determined though, for sure get these. It's just a really good idea to have multiple sources of everything, just have backups, you never know when the DJ board might crap out or the, I don't know, one of your mics fails. Having backups just puts you at ease. Do it. Next up, water and snacks. Uh, I'm gonna let Aaron take this one. Water and snacks. Soup's passionate about this. I always have a full lot of water in the back and a cooler just like packed full of stuff. Cause I don't know about you guys, Max not this way, but I get like, I don't even want to say hangry. I just get, I get hangry, but like so angry when I'm hungry and so weak when I'm thirsty. I'm like, I don't know, you, you have to have it. So we have a cooler with snacks, like I'll bring like veggie bags and pepperoni sticks and baby bell cheeses and stuff that actually will stick with you because 90% of the time you're not gonna get to, well 100% of the time you're not gonna have lunch and 90% of the time you're probably not gonna get to eat until like the end of the night. So um, if you wanna be able to survive a wedding day, um, bring tons of water and snacks. Also enough that you're able to share sometimes, like we always bring enough water that if we're shooting with a photographer, we're like, hey, did you want one? Okay, great. Sometimes they're cold, sometimes they're you know room temp. Regardless, it's water, it's good for you. Um, subsection of water and snacks, um, electrolytes. I only was introduced to these like two years ago and um, these, these guys, or the ones that we use, and um, it does, it takes away the wedding hangover. You have a couple of them at the end, even at the end of the night, whatever, the next day you wake up not feeling like you wanna die. And for weddings that are in the super hot sun, and no matter how much water or snacks you eat, you always just kinda feel sluggish, you'll have your electrolytes, and you'll feel like a million dollars, and be able to survive the day. So, helpful tips. So we've all been that person, using our phone, getting Insta clips using Google Maps, texting or calling your second shooter, and your battery runs low on your phone. So then you're going around the reception, trying to find a plug lurking around people's tables and be like, oh, is there a plug here? And people think you're weird. Um, so we always bring a little Mophie juice pack thing. Um, it's actually wireless, so you don't need 
you know, you're, you don't need a lightning cable or anything. You just plop your iPhone 8 or higher on this and you're charging. And that way you always have power with you. Uh, we also have these guys, this little battery case. Uh, depends what you want, but we find it super handy. We're often, you know, we're on a mountain or in the forest or somewhere far away from power. And now you don't have to worry about it. You got this little guy. So uh, highly recommend. Lens cleaners. This, a rag, duh, have one. Come on, what are you doing? Keep your lens clean. Actually, mine's <laughs> a little dirty. So this next one isn't like a must, but we always bring these moment lenses with us on shoots. They're super handy. Um, they're for your phone. They give you a little different uh, perspective. So for like Instagram stories, super fun to use. Um, often we'll have them on us just in case we need like a wide time-lapse shot and we have no other second, third, fourth camera on us. You got your phone, put this on, it honestly will work. It'll get the shot, it's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, not a must, but we think this is a fun thing to have. Next up is a Gorillapod. So remember that spare camera you brought to the wedding? Now you have something to use it with. You put this on the ground, up in a tree, whatever. It's super, super handy to have. Uh, there was one time we, ha we were hiking to a ceremony spot uh, in Whistler, BC. It was like a half an hour down, a pretty steep hill. My wife was pregnant at the time. Wasn't the best situation. Um, so we knew we didn't want to bring all of our tripods because we knew we'd have to carry them out. Um, and that wasn't going to be a good idea. So we brought this along with our third camera um, and it was perfect. That was our, our aisle shop for the ceremony and it was excellent. So it's a really good idea to bring this to any shoot. You never know when you could use it. Last but not least, not something you put in your bag necessarily, but we think you should wear an Apple Watch or some kind of smartwatch. Um, having your phone is great, but sometimes, or most of the day, your hands are full on a wedding day. You're shooting, you're active, you don't really have time to whip out your phone and be texting your other shooter. So this is super handy to be quickly and easily in contact with Siri. If it's a place where you can do Siri, don't do that mid-ceremony, that would be weird. Um, but you can quickly be in touch with your other shooters and you know you can get a hold of them because who's gonna not feel something buzzing on their wrist? So we think that's a really good idea and you should think about it. So that's it. I hope you found this video super useful, hopefully. Um, if you agree or disagree or have other ideas, let us know in the comments below or shoot us a message on Instagram. Um, otherwise, Sorry. there's my kid. So I need to end now. Good timing. Wanna say hi, Woody? Hi. Come on in, bud. Who's that? Hey. You've grown since the last time we've done this.